fish and you would stand in the middle of a fish tank and it felt like you were inside of it. it they even had lionfish. Lionfish are an invasive species. They threaten Florida's saltwater fish and wildlife populations. If you want to learn more about invasive species, you can watch my Zoo Miami and Invasive Species video. Today we're going to be making two crafts. The puffer, the puffer fish craft from Crafts Play Learn and the Ocean Coral Reef Blowing by Woo Kids Activities. All the activities will be pinned to my Pinterest board. Let's get started. The first crafts we're going to be making are this puffer fish craft from Kids Craft Play and Learn. Um, you can print it on colored paper, but I'm going to color it. The supplies that you need are, if you're going to color it, crayons, scissors, glue, and the papers that you color it on. Let's start coloring it. Pufferfish can inflate into a ball to get away from danger. Some pufferfish have spines on their back to help them ward off from predators. Predators are something that wants to eat them like another fish. A pufferfish is a carnivore. That means it eats meat. A group of fish is called a school. Now we're gonna cut it out. One more to go. Now let's glue it. Most puffer fish are found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters, but some live in brackish and fresh water. Now let's move on to the next craft. Now let's make the coral reef blow paint painting. The supplies that you need are a brown piece of paper shaped like stand and a whole blue piece of paper, some glue, some scissors to cut those out, but I already cut mine out, some straws, paint, and then you put the paint in the cup, and a cup of water. Now let's put some water in the paint so it's easier to do the project.
organisms live together to make a coral reef and ecosystem. An organism is like an animal or plant. Now, let's glue the sand down. Now, let's blow paint the coral. two kinds of coral in the reef ecosystem, hard and soft. Coral reefs are on either side of the equator in many spots around the world. The equator is an invisible line halfway between the North and the South Pole. Thank you for watching Entertaining Emma. Remember to subscribe and share.